Hey, Wicked Deke here, cutting another video. This time we're talking about the Los Angeles Kings goalie herd. Yes, the goalie herd. Rob Blake has developed a fetish for goalies. No, not really, but he certainly seems to like to collect them. Uh, and the big news out of Los Angeles is the Kings have goalies. And they have three that they've given contracts to. And, of course, there are only usually two uh, openings on the big club. So what the hell is Rob Blake doing? Uh, so the specific contracts. We know this summer Kyle Peterson got a three-year contract extension. And it appears the plan is for him to play in the AHL this year and then move up to the big club in the 2020-21 season. Congratulations, Cal. And then the news came just recently that Jack Campbell got a two-year extension as well. Got a nice raise, a million bucks a year. And um, so that's an extension. So it's actually a three-year period that Jack is committed to the Kings because this year will be played on his old contract uh, with the two-year extension kicking in in the 2021 season. And then we have the Quickster, Jonathan Quick. Uh, he still has four years to go on his contract with a cap hit of $5.8 million, although the actual money he's being paid will be less as it gets near the end of the contract. Uh, which hopefully makes it a little bit better. Now, when we're talking about the Kings, of course, uh, certainly the Kings goalies, uh, there's never really that big of a reason to panic because, drop to your knees with me and pray, our Lord and Savior, Bill Ranford, uh, usually makes sure that uh, we're in pretty decent shape in the goal. I mean, let's be honest, at this point, he could take a wood cut out of a goalie and stick him in goal and uh, get a 915 save percentage. So what the hell is Rob Blake doing here? Oh, this may be a no. I'm not a big Blake fan. Uh, but you can see what he's doing here, and it's hard to criticize him. Basically, he's trying to create flexibility moving forward, not only for uh, the next current, you know, the current season, but the next season, and then the expansion draft. Um, so the hope this year probably is the hope that many of us have for the Kings, which is they play a lot better in the first uh, first half of the season than they did all of last year. And some of these veterans that were so god awful last year. Uh, play better and develop some trade value. Some people were talking about Jeff Carter uh, and, of course, Quick. Quick had a horrible season last year. If he can get back to 915 to 920 save percentage, look like the Jonathan Quick of old, play the full uh, first half without any injuries, that kind of a thing, well, maybe build some trade value. Now I know what you're thinking. <gasps> trade a goalie in the middle of the year? No. No, it's forbidden. Actually, it's not. That's just complete bullshit. Goalies used to get traded in the middle of the season all the time. I don't know why they haven't recently, but if you look at some of the teams that are legitimate cup contenders, except for what they have in goal, Calgary, Cam Talbot? Cam Talbot was your answer to your goalie, goalie issues. Jesus. Seriously? Cam Talbot. Oh, my God. Um... You know, you could see a team suddenly getting interested in Quick because of Quick looks like the Quick of old. Well, we all know when the playoffs start, he becomes an animal. Uh, and a team like Calgary with Quick and goal, whew, that could be kind of scary. Um, so that's probably option one. Um, but, you know, there are also going to be a lot of teams looking at that contract going, do we really want to commit to this for, uh, you know, another three years after this season? And you can see some people getting cold feet. Uh, so then the second option, of course, is Blake is probably thinking about that expansion draft. See how expansion draft it's in June, 2021. And you could see Mr. Quick being exposed in that draft. Um, so that makes sense there. However, there's one problem with this and that is what happens in the 2020, 2021 season, uh, not this season, but next season, because the expansion draft isn't for, uh, another two summers. So what do you do with the three goalies next season? And the answer you would think is probably um, somehow convince Cal Peterson to be happy at the AHL. I don't think there's going to be much chance of that. Uh, you know, Cal's, what, 24 now, I think? Hold on, let me even look. Cal Peterson in his dog spot. Um, Cal Peterson is currently 24, so he would be looking at being 26 and still stuck in the minors. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go over big. Um, but you could see maybe worst case scenario, they trade Campbell uh, because he would still be young enough to bring back value. Uh, or again, I'm sure they'll be trying to trade quick right and left. The interesting thing about Fortress Kings is that when you listen to management talk, uh, they don't really talk about Jonathan Quick anymore. I don't know if you've noticed that. 
Uh, they still, you know, kind of bring out the tired, we're building around Anjay and Dowdy, uh, you know, corporate speak. Uh, and then, of course, they said the very bizarre thing here recently that they're, they want to build around Dustin Brown. I like Dustin. I'm sure you like Dustin as well. But Dustin's 35 this year. I don't think you're building shit around Dustin Brown. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, when Turcotte, for instance, you know, gets up, to, gets up to the Kings, Brown will be 37. Yeah, I, no, we're not building around Dustin Brown. Uh, you know, I, I hope it was a uh, slip of the tongue because if it wasn't, oh Jesus Christ! Uh, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I think that's probably the plan. So it'll be interesting to see what they do next year if they can't get rid of Quick this year. Um, because it certainly seems like he's on the, in the outs. I don't know if he cut off Blake on you know a street or parked in his parking spot or what, but uh, Jonathan Quick seems to have fallen out of uh, the holy uh, Stanley Cup winning territory of the roster. Uh, so we'll have, just have to see how it all plays out. But as much as I dislike Rob Blake, it looks like he's doing the right thing here. It also should be noted that the Kings have some interesting goalie prospects because, of course, they do. They couldn't go three or four rounds in a draft without picking a goalie prospect. Uh, the kid, uh, Valalta, probably pronouncing it wrong. He looks like he's got some interesting uh, parts to his game. Uh, and then the kid they drafted out of the Czech Republic this year, uh, whose name looks like it's Perik, but is not even remotely pronounced like that. Um, he's a kid that looks like a potential serious NHL prospect down the line. Um, so as long as we have uh, our Lord and Savior, Bill Ranford, uh, in the management team, I wouldn't worry too much about the Kings goalies. Now, if only Mr. Ranford had a brother who developed forwards. Uh, well, best not to get greedy. Uh, so anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, I feel shame. Give me a thumbs down. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I will religiously be posting new videos whenever I get around to it. And that's it. Thanks. Deek out.